All right, so this first one is my favorite one, and I like to call it the guitar. So when you're DJing at weddings and stuff like that, you may have a situation where people are going to want you to play some classic rock music, which doesn't really work well with beat matching or doing traditional mixes or transitions. So I love to use this one, especially with songs that have really famous guitar rips. So for this example, I'm using Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses, but you guys could use any type of good song that has a famous guitar riff. And what I did was I found where the guitar riff was. So I, in the beginning of the song, I put a cue point here, which sounds like this. So that's right in the beginning of the song. And then in the next, the next one that I put was here, which is like one second in. So you could do this. And then the next one I did was when the kind of like the drums drop, which is over here at 44 seconds. And then I set another cue point where the song actually starts and the lyrics come in, which is over here. So the trick with this is we want to make it look like we're playing the guitar with the controller. So by doing these cue points, it's going to look like you're like changing the chords of the guitar when you are doing the cue points. And then I would um, recommend setting a an effect, uh, either an echo reverb right now. Uh, the ping pong delay really worked for this one. And that's what our strumming is going to be. We're going to be cutting the song out, but it's still going to have the resonance from the effect. So it's going to look a little something like this. So the effect is on. And then now we're going to go... before you play the song obviously we are going to turn the effect off and then the song just plays so this is great but if you want to go from like hip-hop edm and then you could do an echo out and then you could bring in the guitar strumming and then you could play the guitar song and people really think it's cool and and you look really cool when you're using the controller like this and it's a really great way to spice up your set when you're using that you mark dj to go to touch all right, so now let's go to the next trick. If my cat will leave me alone. We're in the song. This is one of those tricks that you don't want to do too often. It can be annoying, but if you do it once or twice in your set, it does look really cool, and people think it's like a really unique thing to do that you're playing the controller like a guitar. All right, so now let's move to the next trick. And then that is going to be the kickflip. Okay, so this is how we're going to do the transition. It's going to be a simple transition. I'm going to let one song play out almost to the end. And then I'm going to start the next song. And then when I press play, when you press play on the controller, you're going to flip the controller. Don't break the controller. And then keep going. It looks really cool when you do it, when you're DJing. So here we go. Let's get ready. And make sure your wires are not tangled and make sure they have a lot of slack in them so that you'll be able to do the trick without getting constricted. And then also keep in mind that you're probably going to have another cable for your main output. So just keep that, have a lot of slack, and don't unplug all your equipment. I want to know what connects me to you. Go. We did it, the kickflip transition. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which trick you thought was the coolest. Also, let me know if you guys know any of your own tricks. And give this video a like if you found value with it. And also subscribe to the channel if you like learning about how to do cool stuff 